what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Tuesday, Donald Trump, your president, said he would love to have the country up and running by Easter. That's April 12th, family, 17 days away. He'd love to have the country up and running. Now, what was his reasoning? Did he talk to scholars? Did he get this information from people who study infectious diseases? Did the CDC tell him to do this? Was it recommended by the hardworking doctors all over the country and beyond who deal with COVID-19 on a daily basis? No. He said that he would like to have the country up and running by Easter because he would have the churches filled and he believed that it would be a beautiful time. It's a good timeline. Has there ever been a dumber president in any country? I'll answer that for you. No, I won't. It's rhetorical. You know the answer. This lunatic is being challenged by a doctor in New York who works for the biggest hospital system in New York. Her name is Rachel Sobolith. Rachel has pleaded with this dude in an open letter. She said, Look, I work with these people every day. I'm putting in 60 hours a week, 60 hours every single week. I'm dealing with patients. I'm dealing with people who are losing their lives. I'm on the phone with family members, mothers, and I'm telling them they cannot come see their dying child because the hospital is quarantined. Unless you're ill, you cannot be in here. This woman says that soon, and she hoped that that time doesn't come. But if they don't get the supplies that they need, she's going to have to start deciding who gets to live and who dies. She pleaded with this dude. She said, look, I don't want to have to make that decision. But if it came down to it, who do I choose? Do I choose the guy who's in jail for rape? Do I choose the person of color who's in jail for marijuana possession? Do I choose the emergency uh, medicine doctor who I worked with last week? Do I choose the beloved celebrity? What about the homeless man who just spit on me and my staff and we're trying to save his life? Do I choose the young nurse or the elderly woman with multiple comorbidities with a directory that says, do not resuscitate? Do I choose the single mother of three? Who do I pick? Who gets to live? Who dies? She said the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, has worked tirelessly to obtain more personal protective equipment and ventilators. She said he's begged Trump time and time again to nationalize the efforts to acquire medical supplies, and he's been denied. She said there are people who are listening to the call to stay at home, to quarantine. There are others who are not. And she said that if it keeps going at this rate, it will be 
disastrous. The dude is not listening. You know why? Because he's politicizing this thing so that he can get reelected. A strong economy, even if it's propped up, if it appears to be strong, he can ride on that because that's his platform, a strong economy, strong economy. If I just say that people going to have jobs and they're going to have money, that's going to get, I'm riding, I'm riding to the core. It don't matter though, because if I know one thing I know about people, if you can put some money in their pocket, they'll vote for you. So that's what they're talking about right now. The whole thing is about the economy, economy, economy. That's what Trump is about right now. The economy. He wants the people to vote for him. And he don't care if people die in the process. He just needs to get to the finish line. That's what he's all about. He don't care nothing about the people of the United States of America. This man is trying to get reelected. He don't care nothing about you. If you think Trump cares about you, you are a new fool. This man is trying to get reelected. This fool talking about opening up the country because uh, for Easter because he thinks it would be a beautiful time. In his opinion, the dude ain't been right about nothing substantial, nothing important. But all of a sudden, we're facing the biggest pandemic in modern history and he got the answers? Hell no. This dude is going to get people killed. And, oh man, I, I'm not going to even say it because I'm not that diabolical. But a lot of people are going to die. And a whole lot of them are going to be Trump supporters. Now, the trip part about it is that a lot of those elderly, elderly people who vote, they're not going to be around to vote. That's going to be the irony. A lot of them are going to die. The numbers are already staggering. You wait. In six months, we'll be lucky to have these type of numbers we got right now. We got almost 600 deaths right now in the U.S. And I forget the account, that, what the count is for the number of people who have been uh, diagnosed with coronavirus or COVID-19 but it's up there and it is growing exponentially by the minute. Y'all jump out there and believe Trump if you want to and think it's cool because he says cool if you want to. And you're going to mess around and lose your life and risk the life of others around you. Slowpoke said it's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful timeline. We're screwed, man. We are royally screwed. Can we please get a president whose vocabulary extends beyond a third graders? This is simply a desperate attempt to save a failing presidency. We have to listen to medical experts, the people who are on the front lines who see it every day. Not some dude who has bankrupted six companies. Everybody that I know who are working in the medical field is doing so because they're trying to save lives, not an economy. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.